Welcome everybody to WCW Monday Nitro. We got a night, a great episode lineup for you guys today where Diamond Dallas Page will be cashing in his Money in the Bank briefcase to go against Lex Luger for the U.S. title. Stay tuned. Welcome everybody to WCW Monday Nitro. We have a great episode lined up for you guys today. We will see Diamond Dallas Page cash in his Money in the Bank briefcase to go against the for the U.S. title against champion Lex Luger. We are live in Rio Rancho, New Mexico for a sold out audience ready to go here tonight. And here we go with our first match of the evening. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Victoria, Texas. Weighing in at 252 pounds. Stone Cold Steve Austin. And here comes the Texas Rattlesnake, who is 0-1 thus far in WCW. He lost to Sting in the WCW Heavyweight Championship Tournament, and he's looking to get some payback on the Stinger. You know, the, you know, the Stone Cold does not like losing to anybody, and he, and he especially doesn't like to be 0-1, not off to a great start here in WCW. And here comes the Stinger. And his opponent from every man's nightmare, weighing in at 259 pounds, the man called Sting. Here comes Sting. He is also making his first appearance here on WCW Monday Nitro. Both of these men have not wrestled since the championship tournament that was held uh, four weeks ago. Here's a look at the WCW World Heavyweight Championship bracket, or division I should say. Our champion, The Rock, and Hulk Hogan, Goldberg, The Giant, Sting, Steve Austin, Ric Flair, and Kevin Nash make up the contenders for the big gold belt here in the WCW. Sting is 1-1. One one. He did beat Steve Austin in the tournament, but then he lost in the second round. Let's go. You hear the chance of Sting coming from the audience. Both of these men are fan favorites, but thus far it seems like it's a little bit more of a pro Sting crowd than it is a pro Stone Cold crowd. And of course, if you're just joining us here on uh, WCW Monday Nitro, this is our 90s kind of all-star uh, division here in my wrestling league. We have guys from the WWE and WCW competing in one uh, show for one championships. Well, actually three championships. We have WCW World Heavyweight Champion, the United States Champion, and the Television Champion. Three different divisions. And of course you can watch 
old episodes on Mikey J Productions YouTube channel right here. New episodes air every Monday night. And we also have two other shows that we're bringing to you. WWF Saturday Night's main event, which is kind of like an, an 80s all-star uh, d classic WWF type of show. And then we have uh, NXT, which is kind of a mashup of current stars and some of my favorite uh, older stars that I didn't think were quite good enough to make the main rosters. And that is like our developmental league. And if wrestlers advance well enough, they can make it up to one of the two main shows. And here we go. Stone Cold's head gets hit into the turn into the turn post by the Sting, and he does it a second time just for good measure. As we are on the outside of the ring right now, and Stone Cold throws Sting back into the ring, so we can take the action back inside. Now, uh, Stone Cold is quite upset about his loss to Sting in the tournament. You know the Texas Rattlesnake. He, uh, he doesn't like to lose. And he doesn't like to start out 0-1 here in WCW. So he's definitely looking to get some payback on the Stinger. Sting, on the other hand, if he picks up this victory... That will put him in pretty good contention for a potential shot at the WCW World Heavyweight Championship. Now we're taking action back outside the ring again. Reversal by Stone Cold. Running Lariat knocks Sting down outside of the ring. Oh, Sting gets the reversal on Stone Cold and knocks him down. Big strike there by the Stinger. Knocks Stone Cold down. And we're taking the action back inside the ring now. Big strike by Stone Cold and knocks down Sting. Reversal by the Stinger. Oh, reversal by Stone Cold, and it knocks Sting off over the ropes back outside of the ring. Uh oh, Stone Cold's going to the top rope, looking for the big move. Oh, and he misses. Going for the big move, did not have a good payback. Now we're taking the action back inside the ring now. Stone Cold with the move. Reversal by the Stinger. Now Sting's on the offensive. Scorpion Splash! Knocks Stone Cold down. Uh-oh, he's setting Stone Cold up. Scorpion Death Drop. Sting goes in for the pin. This could be it, folks. And that is it. Sting picks up his second victory against Stone Cold Steve Austin. What's this? There's a classy move by Stone Cold Steve Austin. He know he was beat not once but twice by Sting. So he has to admit Sting has been the better man thus far in WCW.
And here we go with our second match of the evening. Making his way to the ring, accompanied by Scott Hall from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 212 pounds, X Pack. So here comes X Pack, and he is being accompanied to the ring by Scott Hall of the NWO. This can only mean one thing the X Pack has officially rejoined the New World Order. So not only do they have Hogan, Hall, Nash, and clearly Eric Bischoff, but now X-Pac has joined the ranks of the NWO as well. And here comes Y2J. Both these men are making their first appearance here on WCW Monday Nitro. They have not wrestled since the tournament, uh, the television tournament, which is the division both these in. And here we are at the rankings. There's your WCW World Television Champion, Vader. And Chris Jericho is the current number one contender, followed by Mankind, Ahmed Johnson, Scott Steiner, Owen Hart, X-Pac, and Buff Bagwell. But uh, Chris Jericho or X-Pac have not wrestled since the tournament. So, but Chris Jericho did manage to make it to the second round of the television championship tournament. Here we go. With Scott Hall on the outside of the ring, you know it could lead to trouble for Chris Jericho. And knowing that clearly X-Pac has rejoined the New World Order could also mean bad news for Y2J. X-Pac has got out to the early advantage. There's the big kick, knocks down Jericho. Jericho gets the reverse. Big kick by Jericho. Big strikes by Jericho. Oh, and the big move by Jericho knocks down X-Pac. Backbreaker on, on X-Pac. Big strikes by Jericho. Reversal by X-Pac. And down goes Jericho. Oh, big kick there by X-Pac. Oh, reversal by Jericho. Now a reversal by X-Pac knocks Jericho off the top rope down to the mat. Goes in for the pin. It's a one count on Jericho. Kick to the back of Jericho by X-Pac. Now the big strikes. Face plant sends Jericho down to the mat. Reversal by Jericho. Now reversal by X-Pac. Now he knocks Jericho over the top rope outside of the ring. And X-Pac goes to the top rope looking to land the... Oh and oh! Jericho was ready for it. Huge moonsault did not land effectively.
Big strike by Jericho. Now the backbreaker by Jericho. Now we're going to take the action back inside the ring. Oh, he's got the submission hold on Jericho. This could be it, folks. This could be it. Oh, and Jericho breaks free. And down goes x pack now Jericho's getting into it with Scott Hall, and then X-Pac takes advantage. Now x pac setting Jericho up. He lands the face plant, and this could be it. And that is it. X-Pac has done it. And there's the face plant once again. So he just took out the number one contender for the World WCW Television Championship. This is a huge upset victory for X-Pac. And a, and a bitter defeat by Chris Jericho takes him that much further away from a shot at the title. Here is your winner, X-Pac. And the NWO is coming back stronger than ever. Speaking of the NWO, here comes the head honcho himself, Hollywood Hulk Hogan. This is an impromptu appearance by the, by the Hulkster. He was not scheduled to appear here tonight. But clearly he's got something on his mind. Maybe we're going to hear about his Money in the Bank briefcase. Oh, big words by the Hulkster, and out comes the WCW World Heavyweight Champion, The Rock. It looks like he wants to respond to the threats there made by Hollywood Hulk Hogan. It looks like we're we are our main event for Bash at the Beach in two weeks is getting set here tonight on Nitro. Oh, there it is. The two men staring each other down. This will be the main event for Bash at the Beach in two weeks. Hollywood Hulk Hogan versus The Rock for the WCW World Heavyweight Championship. And what a main event that is going to be. Where's Bo? I said stay down. Where's Bo? Out there trying to play outlaws with the big boys. Loves himself just as much as his daddy clearly didn't. Spent his inheritance rounding up the best gunmen money can buy, but they don't give a damn about Bo. Their only job is to make him look good get his name in the newspapers.
triple threat match in order for you, in store for you guys. Making his way to the ring from the United States of America, weighing in at 288 pounds, Mankind. And here comes Mankind. This is all three of these men, this is their first appearance here on WCW Monday Nitro. So, one of them will get the victory, one of them will get a loss, and the one that does not get to p get pinned, but does not get the win, will get a no contest on their record. Here comes Big Daddy Pump. These men are all, of course, in the WCW Television Championship division. And as I said earlier, this is all three of theirs. First appearance here on Nitro. We got to get everybody in, you know, at least one appearance on Nitro before we get to the big pay-per-view, Bash at the Beach, coming up in a couple of weeks. Here comes the King of Hearts. All of these men are looking to pick up the victory to get themselves one step closer to the WCW Television Championship. But as I've said, uh, before on other sh other programs a wrestler does not have to stay in the division they're in they can advance to higher divisions if they perform well enough or they could be put in lower divisions if they perform poorly and wrestlers on like Nitro for example could be moved down to NXT if they perform bad enough and wrestlers from NXT could be moved up if they perform well enough Start out with Mankind getting the Russian leg sweep on Owen Hart. Owen Hart with the reversal. Now Scott Steiner gets involved in the action. Big strikes by Scott Steiner on Mankind. And there goes Owen Hart knocking down Steiner. Now Mankind and Owen Hart are getting into it. And Owen Hart comes out on top of that exchange. Reversal by Mankind. Down goes Owen Hart. Now down goes Scott Steiner. And Mankind seems to be working on Freakzilla. Now Scott Steiner gets a big strike in and then a reversal by Mankind. Now Owen Hart gets into the exchange. And reversal by Mankind. Strike by Scott Steiner on Mankind. And down goes Mankind. Steiner goes in for the early pin. Mankind kicks out on one. Mankind is rolling outside of the ring, leaving Scott Steiner and Owen Hart inside. Steiner throws Owen Hart into the corner. Reversal by Owen Hart. And Steiner tosses Owen Hart down with his big pop of pump power.
And Steiner knocking. Oh, and then Mankind breaks it up. Mankind reverses Owen Hart. Oh, and he's got the mandible claw on Owen Hart. Oh, but Scott Steiner was able to break him out of it. Now Mankind goes in for the pin on Owen Hart. Hart kicks out on two. Now big strikes by Skyner. Reversal by Mankind. He's got the Boston Crab on Scott Steiner. And Steiner is able to reverse it. Now Mankind rolls out of the ring and Steiner and Owen Hart are going at it with Steiner taking advantage of the situation. Now he goes in for the pin on Owen Hart. It's a two count on Owen Hart. Mankind comes back into the ring. Oh, and Scott Steiner knocks him down. Down goes Mankind. Oh, big shot by Mankind on Steiner. Down goes Steiner. Big strike by Mankind. Reversal by Steiner. Oh, reversal by Mankind, and down goes Steiner again. Owen Hart's getting back up to his feet and takes advantage of Mankind. And down goes Mankind. Now Owen Hart knocks Mankind out of the ring. And he's going up to the top ropes looking to make the big move. And he lands it on Mankind all the way from the top turnbuckles to outside of the ring. And he throws Mankind back into the ring now. But not before he's going to get some damage to him on the ring apron. Now that I've taken the reaction back inside the ring as Mankind rolls out of the ring. And it's Owen Hart and Scott Steiner going at it. Owen Hart showing off for the crowd. Oh, he's got the sharpshooter on Scott Steiner. This could be it, folks. This could be it. And Scott Steiner taps out, and Owen Hart has won the triple threat match. And here's the replay. See, Mankind was outside of the ring and couldn't get back in in time, and Scott Steiner just could not handle the sharpshooter. Here is your winner, Owen Hart. As I said before, Owen Hart picks up the victory, Scott Steiner gets a loss, and Mankind will get the no contest for this matchup. But it's a big win by Owen Hart to get him back into the championship picture. And here's our next match of the evening. Now this is the Macho Man's first appearance here on WCW Monday Nitro and he is in the United States uh, Championship Division. Our champion is Lex Luger, our number one contender is DDP, followed by Psycho Sid, Triple H, Macho Man, Scott Hall, Kane.
And then Booker T was, of course, bringing up the rear thus far in the division. And the crowd loves the Macho Madness. Here are the thunderous of boots from the crowd for our next competitor. Here's the game. And his opponent, accompanied by China. And from Greenwich, Connecticut, weighing in at 260 pounds, Triple H. And here is the game, Triple H. He is also making his first appearance here on Monday Nitro. But he's got a tough opponent in front of him in Randy the Macho Man Savage. As I've said earlier, both these men compete in the United States Championship Division. And Triple H was accompanied this evening by China, who of course competes in the women's division over on NXT. I tell you folks, this could be a main event most weeks on Nitro, but not tonight because we got a big main event still ahead of us as DDP versus Lex Luger for the U.S. title. But when you just think about the game versus Macho Man, that's a pretty big match unto itself. And as I said earlier, if you like this video or other videos on my channel, please like, comment, and subscribe. And stay tuned for future episodes here on Mikey J Productions. And here we go. Triple H starts out strong. And you hear the crowd chanting Triple H. So while, while Triple H is getting a lot of boost from the crowd, he definitely has a lot of fans here as well. And Macho Man puts, and he's got Triple H up and down he goes. Big slam by the Macho Man. Wrenching on the nose of the Macho Man and reversal by Triple H. DDT by Triple H, but Macho Man bounces right back up. Big strikes by the Macho Man and slams down Triple H. Got the headlock on Triple H, does the Macho Man. Reversal by Triple H. And oh, big knee to the head to the Macho Man. He 
You got the pin on Macho Man. Oh, one count. Oh, he's got the he's got the submission hold on the Macho Man, but he's able to break out. Reversal by the Macho Man. Now strikes to the head of Triple H by Macho Man. Boot to the midsection. Reversal by the Macho Man. And down goes Triple H. Some more strikes by Macho Man. And into the ring corner. Oh, reversal by Triple H. Oh, running Lariat sends down Triple H in the ring corner. Boot to the midsection. Down goes Triple H. Uh-oh. Macho Man's going to the top ropes. He's setting Triple H up for his double axe handle. And he hits it, and I think he busted Triple H open with that shot as well. Sure enough, Triple H is bleeding profusely from his forehead. From that big shot by a macho man, Randy Savage. The game's not out of it yet. Big knee to the head of Macho Man. And he slams Macho Man down with the big move. Goes in for the pin. Oh, two count on the Macho Man. Uh-oh. He's setting the Macho Man up for the pedigree. And there it comes. There's the pedigree. This could be it, folks. This could be it. And the Macho Man kicks out on two. Reversal by the Macho Man sends Triple H down. Uh oh, Macho Man's going to the top rope for his flying elbow. And here it comes, folks. Oh, and he lands the elbow on Triple H. He goes in for the pin. And that is it. Macho Man has won it. And there's the flying elbow that ended, ended the match. Here is your winner, Macho Man. It's a big win for the Macho Man. And the crowd here loves it. And now it's time for our main event of the evening. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WCW United States Championship. And here comes the Money in the Bank briefcase holder, Diamond Dallas Page. 
who is, of course, cashing in the briefcase here right now for a shot at Lex Luger and the title. He is, of course, the number one contender. And there's the official cash-in of the briefcase. And here's the champion. This is his first title defense after winning the title with a big victory over Sid Vicious in the final of the U.S. Championship Tournament. The total package, our United States champion. Introducing the challenger from the Jersey Shore, weighing in at 248 pounds, Diamond Dallas Page. Feel the bang, folks. Feel the bang. Introducing the champion from Chicago, Illinois, weighing in at 275 pounds. He is the WCW United States Champion. The total package, Lex Luger. And there's our champion, and there's the gold that is on the line right here and right now. What a main event, folks. What a main event. Let's get it on. Two men grapple in the center of the ring. Luger has the distinct power advantage in the grapple. We heard the chance of DDP a moment ago. So it might be more of a DDP pro crowd then a total package pro crowd. Another grapple. Get the headlock on DDP, does Luger. Lariat knocks DDP down in the corner. Big strikes by Luger. Throws DDP into the corner and flips him around and puts him upside down and gives him the kick to the midsection. Lariat knocks down DDP. Luger goes in for the pin. And DDP kicks out on one. Some posing for the crowd by the total package. DDP staggers to his feet and goes on the offensive on Lex Luger. Back strike by Diamond Dallas Page, knife edge chop, and throws Luger into the corner. Now he's gonna throw him to the opposite corner and he knocks the referee down in the process. 
The referee is currently down and out of the match. And he's staggering back to his feet as Luger slams down Diamond Dallas Page. He goes in for the pin. Kicks out on one. Oh, reversal by DDP. And then running Larry and knocks Lex Luger to the ground. Knee to the back. Reversal by Luger. Oh, reversal by Diamond Isles Page. Big strike by Luger. And it throws Luger into the corner again. And down goes Luger. Oh, he's setting him up for his patented move. Down goes Luger. Go. Went in for the pin, but he kicked out on less than one. Wrench it on the legs of Luger is Diamond Dallas Page. Oh, it looks like he's setting him up for the diamond cutter. Feel the bang! And down goes Luger. DDP goes in for the pin. Oh, two count on Luger. GDP still on the offensive here. The champ looks a little worse for wear thus far in the match. He might need to get it going if he wants to retain his title. DDP is feeling the bang. Goes in for the pin. Luger kicks out on one. Another kick to the back of Luger. And slams Luger down to the mat again. Uh oh, DDP looks like he's heading to the top ropes. Oh, big splash off the top ropes. He goes in for another pin. Luger kicks out on one again. The champ is taking some punishment here, folks, but he's not going quietly. Now Luger's on the offensive. DDP rolls out of the ring, so it looks like we're going to take the action outside of the ring. Big slam there by Luger. Kick to the back. Big strike. Another big strike. Another big strike. Knife edge chop. And then DDP throws Luger into the announcing table. Smashes his head against the announcing table. Oh, reversal by Luger. Down goes Diamond Dallas Page. He throws DDP back into the ring, so we're heading back into the ring now. Uh oh, Luger's setting him up. Setting him up for the torture rack. He's got it locked on. This could be it, folks. This could be it. No, no. Diamond Dallas Page fights out of the torture rack. Both of these men know it's on the line. Diamond Dallas Page wants to do whatever it takes to win the championship. Oh, now DDP's on the offensive. Big Lariat's knocked down Luger. And down goes Luger again. Oh, set him up for the big move. And down goes Lex Luger. Rolls him over. Goes in for the pin. Oh, Luger kicks out on two. The champ isn't done yet. Oh, he's setting Luger up for the diamond cutter. 
If he lands this, we could have a new champion. And there it is. This is this has got to be it, folks. This has got to be it. Oh, Luger kicked out of the diamond cutter on two. His head was busted open by that last diamond cutter, though. So he's definitely a little worse for wear as the champion. He's got the headlock on Luger. Luger looks like he's breaking free of it. Now Luger spins a big slam on Diamond Dallas Page. He's asking for DDP to get up, but he's not getting up. He's taunting him to get up. Saying, get to your feet if you want this title. Oh, now DDP's got him. Reversal by Luger. Down goes Diamond Dallas Page. Oh, now Luger's on the offensive. He goes in for the pin. And that is it, folks. That is it. Luger retains the title after game game performance by Diamond Dallas Page. Here is your winner and still WCW United States Champion. The total package, Lex Luger. Thanks everybody for watching, and we'll see you guys all again next week on Monday Nitro. But uh, please like, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned for more episodes of Nitro or Saturday Night's Main Event or NXT, all here on Mikey J Productions. Take care, everybody.